Admiral's Log. I have been set a difficult task. With a relatively small budget, I have to secure the Adriatic and the Mediterranean. How I do this is entirely up to me. The path I have chosen is one of smoke and mirrors, a path of deception. We will deceive the enemy into thinking we have a large fleet. How? By using extremely fast ships. If we are able to strike in the Adriatic and then suddenly show up several hundred miles south, then the enemy can be convinced into thinking that we must have more ships than we actually do. This does cause a problem. Our ships will be expensive as their engineering will be extremely advanced. Having expensive ships on an already somewhat tight budget means we will have a very small fleet. Deception and careful management will be key. Hit and run tactics are also going to be key to winning this war. Since we will have a very small navy, we'll have to pick our battles. That element of speed will allow us to dictate which fights we want and which ones we want to avoid. I've decided to suspend all funding for research and development. Stopping the R&D activities for now will free up several dozens of millions a month, which will come in handsomely for the construction of further ships. Ours will be a difficult fight, and a very interesting one at that. Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome to a new campaign. We are starting in 1940, and in the previous campaign, Germany 1940, I was constantly chasing after enemy ships. Not so in this campaign. I'm going to be hunting enemy ships, because we're going to be building the fastest ships of the Mediterranean, as the Italians. It's the first time I'm running this difficulty of legendary, so I'm going to see exactly how much they have. Uh, or what sort of bonuses they get. It says they have a slight income bonus at higher difficulties than normal. Now that means we have normal, hard, and legendary. So let's see how hard they actually are. I'm going to make them random opponents, so you never know exactly what they're going to do. Although, with the current version of the AI, you never really know what they're going to do anyway. Um, fleet, create own. It's going to be my fleet. It's going to be my boats. Let's go. Here we are. Let's see what the enemy has. The enemy being the Germans and the Austro-Hungarians. These will be my primary concern. Now, they have a lot of ships. This is definitely what I saw, or what the AI, or the, the, the tag meant, when they said, at higher difficulty, the AI is going to have a bit more money. Yeah, uh, like a lot. Because they get, they get a GDP of 57 billion. Okay, they get a naval budget of almost 400 million. I get a naval budget of 192 million. Mm-hmm. Cool. Okay, so they got 93 ships, 51 of which are destroyers. So more than half are destroyers. Then they got 20 light cruisers, 14 heavies, 3 battle cruisers, and 5 BBs. This is my biggest problem, I think. I don't expect to face any of the German ships. Especially since the British have a massive 17 battleships. By the way, the Germans don't even have battleships. What the hell are they doing? They also have a, a French leader. <laughs> Francois Darlon. French leader of the German Navy. Okay, fine. Uh, we are here to design ships. I have 855 million to do that with. Now, don't expect a lot of ships. Don't expect a lot of ships, because we're not going to go with a lot of ships. Because my ships are going to run pretty damn expensive. Um, 39 knots for a battleship is perfectly fine. Oh. oh. Okay. Um, hmm. At this rate, I could spend the entirety of my naval budget on one ship. That might be a little bit much. That might be a little bit much. Now, here's the deal with this campaign. I can build ships as I progress, but it takes forever and then some before those ships actually manage to make it to the front line, before they manage to make it onto the battlefield. The Italians have that mass of destroyers and light cruisers. They, sorry, the Austro-Hungarians, they have five battleships and three BCs. So I need something that can outshoot this and it's something that can chase down this while not getting torpedoed. And the heavy cruisers are somewhere caught in the middle. 
So let's say two relatively smaller battleships. Or maybe no battleships. What about battle cruisers? Um the fast battleship hull is a battle cruiser. I mean, if you want to make this fast, it's gonna cost you. <gasps> a lot. Oh god. Well, there goes that plan for this campaign. 2.4 billion, get out of here. I mean, 49 knots for a battle cruiser. Yes, it's fast, but come on, not 2.5 billion. Jesus Christ. That is so ludicrously expensive. Like, this shit is insane. Okay, uh, 40 knots. See, that's more reasonable, but it means I can have very few of these ships. 38? 37? Yeah, well. I'm not terribly happy with this, but 37 knots it is. Um, We can save a bit on making the ship sleeker, reducing the beam. And that should also provide a more maneuverable platform, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. If you're wider, you're less maneuverable. But my turning circle, 748. If I have it at normal, 780 is not that bad. My turning rate does improve. Okay, good. What sort of propulsion should we have on this ship? Gas turbines are fun, crazy expensive. They allow for a lot of acceleration. Um, they also require you to have a lot of funnels. Turbo electric drive is also good fun because it allows you to do pretty quick deceleration as much as acceleration, which can throw off the enemy's aim. So that's an option. Let's go with gas turbines for now. Oh, sorry, turbo electric drive for now. And see if that is feasible. Holy crap, that's a large tower. Five points of long range accuracy, and this is 32? What the fuck? Okay. This is seven. What sort of gun's gonna fit on this? 18 inches. Eh. Eh. I mean, 18 inches are fine. But do it like this. Add a funnel, add some secondary-ish, and you are stuck with a ship that is completely stock. Ah, it's the speed. I'm trying to get these things to go at unreasonable speeds, but it's not likely going to be working. And I have a maintenance budget of 800 million. I can afford two of these and then some secondary ships, and that's it. What if I were to go for... I don't know, the large cruiser hull? Hull form as good as it can be. 109... The fast battleship doesn't have a great hull. Yeah, delete the Lepanto class. Delete. Thank you. 109 is good. The, hull, the better the hull form, the better it slides through the water. Uh, make this small. Make this fast. Forty knots. <clears throat> um... 217 million is a bit much. 166 for gear turbines. 300 million for turbo electric drive. Okay, we're running gas turbines on this boat then. Now, what sort of guns can we fit here? 18s as well. Yeah, but... I doubt we're going to be able to fit every... These things are so big... See, this is better. This is much better. Secondary tower. Um, I would like something compact. Like that. Because then I can reduce the beam. And I can just put a couple of really, really big guns on this thing. Like... Can we go over an ABX? Is that feasible? Let's check. Center lines. 18. Triple... Triple. Ooh. Uh, four weight offset still a bit high. 
8881. We still need to find some room for a funnel as well. Whoops. Mm -hmm. Oh. This is kind of the problem. You need more than one funnel. If you want to make something like this work. <clears throat> and putting more than one funnel on a ship like this is not easy. But this would be such a fun design to use. What if I go with gear turbines? And then just forced boilers? Oh, that's not bad. We even have an aft offset. And we have an engine efficiency that's pretty damn good. Turning circle is going to be... Well, it's going to have one. Let's just put it at that. It's going to have one. It's not going to be good. It's going to be pretty shit, in fact. Yeah, 1600 meters. And we still got to add a whole bunch of tech. Of course we're going to run semi-armor piercing shells because we're Italian. And we're going to go with capped ballistic shells for high explosive targets. Standard loadout. Please anti-flood. Yes, barbette. No anti-torp. Uh, maximum sonar. Yeah. That's going to allow me to detect torpedoes at four and a half kilometers. That'll be nowhere near enough to dodge them. Give me electro one. Box one. Shaft one. I can cut the beam down even more. What sort of secondaries should I put on this ship, if any? Because I can do 40 knots. I can outrun any warship that I want. Save for a destroyer, perhaps. Uh, torpedoes as a secondary? I mean, it's pretty controversial. But the whole campaign is just going to be nuts anyway. Oh, crap, you can't fit that. Can you fit this? No. What is the secondary tower good for, then? Well, additional boats, I guess. Any chance for small-ish? Yeah. Okay, so that could work for a 4-incher, four 4-incher, four 4-incher. Four yeah, kind of. Hmm. Wow, I'm surprised that fits. Very surprised that fits. TNT, two powder. Semi-armor piercing shells, they will always do some damage. Uh, they have a far greater ricochet angle, so you can most likely cause some damage. This is going to reduce that, but it means that you just do more pen. Uh... Yeah, we're running super heavy shells here. As for armor? Eh. It's overrated. This thing is essentially a sports car. Bit of main deck armor. Um, bit of uh, stacks too heavy. Couple of inches there, couple inches there. I don't think the superstructure is going to be that important, really. Don't tell them that. Shift this thing a bit. Pitch is going to be some problem here. But it's not really something I can really fix. Because I already have these things pretty much as... Well, as spacious as I can have them. There. Alright. No anti-torpedoes. <laughs> Guess 50 destroyers. <laughs> What could possibly go wrong? This is going to be a really quick campaign in more ways than one. Turning circle, 1,000 meters. Cool stuff. 951. Yeah. This is going to be pretty interesting, shall we say. Okay. Ferrari F1. Save the design. Now, these things are not cheap. So... I'm going to have two of them. Let's just build them first and then see how much cash I have left. Because I said earlier, we're not going to have a whole lot of ships. It's going to be a few of them. 
and they're going to be pretty damn expensive. Okay, new ship design. Now, I need something more likely to gun down a whole slew of destroyers. Light cruisers are probably my best bet. Or crazy fast destroyers. Although, in the last campaign, we had these heavy cruisers, which did a lot of work. We also have a lot of different options here for cruisers. Let's see, 119% hull form, 120. Wow. Oh, this should be fun. The Peloro. Hmm. If I set this to minimum displacement, and then make it 38 knots, give it turbo electric. No, it's times three. Gas turbines, maybe. Gas turbines are pretty expensive. Um, yeah, 42 million. Can we do 40 knots? No. No, 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 no. We can definitely not do 40 knots. Look at this jump. 38 knots, 42 million. 39 knots, 48 million. You want 40 knots? You sure you want 40 knots? Boom. 133 million. Yeah, I think we're sticking to 39 knots tops. 37 is saving me 10 million. This ought to be able to capture most destroyers. Now, since I'm operating in the Adriatic, I don't need to go far. So I'm going to set range to minimum. Uh, let's power them with oil. Although I don't... Hmm. Smoke interference, 15, 10, 5, more funnel capacity. Hmm. Tricky. I'm also not quite sure what sort of firepower to put on these things. Oh. Does that not fit? Yeah, that does fit. Interesting design. Really interesting design. I hope that one of these has a spot for a funnel, otherwise I'm screwed. <laughs> Beautifully. Okay. Force that. Oh, that's not even going to cut it. And then, uh... Wow. That fits really snugly. I like that. Can I get away with two of those smaller ones? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. What else are we going to need? Better armor. Now keep in mind, these guys are going to go up against destroyers. So I'm probably going to need to give them an unbalanced rudder. Push that turning circle down as far as I can. <clears throat> there, 339. And I don't really need long range accuracy because that's not the point of this thing. Generation 1 radar. Best sonar I can get. Best base accuracy bonuses I can get. All the anti flood. Um, all the anti torp, and I cannot build a ship on this. I'm thinking. Fairly sizable main guns, like 8 inches, and then backed up by 5s? You could turn this into a pretty nice destroyer hunter. That's quite a lot of firepower. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. If I make the ship a little wider... That immediately starts jumping the brace. 10% more beam. And you're looking at a ship that goes from, what, 60 million to 100 million near enough. Yeah, so beam's not really my friend here. What about two fivers there and two fours? No. So what am I supposed to put on that platform then? A torpedo launcher? Really? Not so sure that wants to turn. I do really would well, I would really like torpedo launchers on these things, actually. Because having torpedo launchers on here could allow for these things to have a bit of a standoff-ish weapon to go after more threatening targets, if you will. Um less stable shooting platform resisting its flying camera load. Yes. 
But what I really need is more displacement. You're dealing with destroyer, so you're probably going to be turning around a lot. Advanced hydraulics. Semi-armor piercing. I mean, we're Italian. And for the HE... What about light shells? Just light shells, semi-armor piercing. Because this gives you the best chance of not ricocheting off a target. So you ought to be able to penetrate a destroyer from virtually any angle. With a 6-inch gun, <clears throat> that means I can pen destroyers 7,500 meter range. I mean, the best they're going to have is 3 inches of armor, so this ought to do it. It's just that these things are going to be completely harmless if they would ever encounter something... Bigger than a destroyer or a light cruiser. Actually, no. I can't even kill a light cruiser with this. Also, this tower might be way, way much more than I need. Way much more. Yes, English, very good. Uh, the other one's just not that much cheaper. What if I have two different classes of heavy cruiser? What if I have two different ones? One with a firepower of about 9-inch guns. The other one with much smaller firepower. Let's see, I'm not going to save this design yet, so I can still tinker with it. Because that's the Heavy Cruiser 4. Mm. 124? Oh, you're that crazy boat. Okay. What could I put on here? Nothing. That's cool. Forty knots. You're immediately looking at sixty-eight million. Thank you very much. Pass. Um, see, I love to use the the more exotic propulsion systems, but they are just crazy expensive. Diesels. No gear turbines are generally just the cheapest option. Turning circle, it looks like it's going to be a disaster. 437, 353, okay, not that much of a disaster. Secondary tower, yeah, targeting tower. Okay, if I were to go with this design, I still need a pretty hefty funnel for that, because I get an engine efficiency of 14%. Yikes. That doesn't want to fit. This does. Force it. 56? Okay, going with this hull or this speed or both is going to make it pretty difficult to make this thing feasible. Because this is 630 tons and I just can't fit it. If I go for 10,000 tons, I don't get more room. Yeah, my turning circle is already looking at 400. No, I don't like this design. Uh, they also got this. This, this is what I had. That's a modern heavy cruiser. Good lord, the thing is enormous. Hmm. What if I go for a thick light cruiser? That's not very thick though, is it? Like this and like this. Would that work? As you can see, I'm just spitballing designs here. <clears throat> just trying to figure out what is going to work. Uh, turbo electric, or sorry, gear turbines, oil three, forced funnel. Boom. 74. Um, hmm. I would like to get more engine efficiency than that, because with this engine efficiency, I do get better acceleration, but not by much. Hmm. Could I put enough on this craft? Is it big enough? Ooh. Not really. That's 500 tons for armament. 
that's not a lot. That is not a lot. Because I could essentially fit one turret. <laughs> Ish. And you're done. Oh, crap. I'm gonna have to reduce torpedo blister on this if I want to fit more weapons. Yeah, we're gonna continue with the Piloto design. Piloto design. Um, it's a destroyer hunter. It's there to hunt destroyers and light cruisers. That's it. If it comes up against a ship, like a, a battleship, I'm gonna probably have to run away at 37 knots. Drop some torps. And just wave as I run off at high speeds. Pretty simple. With this sonar and this turning circle, I should be able to dodge. Lest I get these things into massive fights. Then, not so much. What about a 7 or an 8 inch? This is going to pan... I'm thinking I'm fighting at 7,500 meters. You're not going to really hit destroyers beyond that. Unless you get really good crews. So this is five inches of armor pen. This is six and a half. This is seven and a half. Now we're getting to eight. Eight and a half. Mm. Eight inches, I think. Overweight. I slow it down to 36 knots. Yes. Wow, that made it a lot cheaper too. 12 million. Okay, I'm a fan. Stern is too heavy because of those torpedo launchers. So we're gonna have to house these things somewhere else. Yeah, that looks legit. Except not really. Is that gonna work? Rather doubt it. If I'm not mistaken, they will not turn like this, but they ought to turn like this. Kinda. Oh God, I really hope that works. If I increase the draft, we're once again back to that way more expensive boat. Oh, sorry, not the draft, the beam. The beam, the beam, the beam. It does feel a little off. Having a torpedo tube up there. It's 85 tons, this is 45 tons. I would... Probably put the 5 incher there, and then the torpedo launcher there. Like this. I think this looks more logical, if you will. It looks more feasible. Secondary guns. Oh, come on, don't be like that. Because 3 inches are going to range me 3... Sorry, 7.2 kilometers. Hmm. can pull this one closer to the main superstructure, which is going to reduce the issue I have with the pitch and roll. Also, what is with... Oh. There go. Forward, I've set 1-4. Push this back aft. There we go. This is a weird design. But then again, all of them are. Standard ratio. Uh, when it comes to HE, I'm thinking just the maximum can. Yeah. At this point, the difference between HE and AP is really small. It just doesn't really matter that much. What about something a little more gentle, like nose fuse? Still gives you a pretty decent chance to start a fire. Yeah, I'll take that. And we can use the torpedo launchers, which are 21-inch oxys, <coughs> so that I turn fire at 21.8. And we're going to give you increased complement of those, if you can still fit. Ooh, kind of. Can we also bring more shells? Yes, we can. It's two tons. Oh, I love it. Like I said, this campaign is probably going to be over pretty quick. Because everything dies. My ships are pretty shit. Uh, why is your aft belt so big? Main deck, fore deck, aft deck. See, I do like these to be a little more balanced. 284, 2 aft, 
five one main. This is fine. It's just that aft's a bit heavy. Hmm. Nope. This is not ideal. Just essentially don't show your ass to anyone. Which is tough, because this thing is also sort of geared towards running away. Details. <clears throat> That's way too heavy. Okay, well. Um... We're going to need a good name for this thing. The Fiat uh, 12,000. There. The Fiat 12,000 class. Designed to hunt down destroyers with 8-inch guns, 5-inch there, 5-inch there, and a 3-inch more as a balancing act than anything else. Save. Now, do I need DDs? Do I really need destroyers? Their hull form is not even that good. Stability 74? That's a ridiculously good firing platform for a destroyer. And you got this thing, which is apparently as stable as this. What about a light cruiser? 61 stability. 65, 65. Because I'm thinking that... A, I don't know, like a really small light cruiser could also be a fantastic weapon to use against all of those destroyers. 26 million. Oh, you get that? Oh, I thought that was limited to destroyers. Interesting. Six inch guns. All the... F wow, I like this. All the firepower, I was gonna say. Don't tell me. No. Uh, medium guns. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. We're a bit heavy on the bows. We still need to throw a funnel in here. <laughs> it's not really helpful, is it? I'm not sure if we're looking at a pretty big... I don't know. Destroyer or a really small light cruiser. Hmm. Either way, I think this thing can actually work. I mean, as crazy as it is. Uh, let's see. Engine efficiency needs to get worked at. We need to still figure out what sort of shells we're going to use. And I would love torpedo launchers on this thing. Just something that's going to say hello and goodbye to a battleship, for example. Yeah, it's going to make it a bit heavy on the bows. Thing about this light cruiser is you can't really put it anywhere else. Um, 38 knots, 39 knots. Are we gonna fall off a cliff if I type 40? We're not. Cool. Okay, in that case, I'm gonna keep these guys as a destroyer hunter as well. That means that the, the jack of all trades is gonna be the Fiat 12,000, and we're gonna have this light cruiser. Well, we're still going to have to spend all sorts of money on this. Um, you're not going to be cheap, are you? No, you're not going to be light either. Reduce this. I'm operating in the Adriatic. I mean, I don't need to go far. We can upgrade this. We can upgrade this. Maybe not. Hmm. Reduce speed. Okay, reduce speed. 38 knots, you can still catch most destroyers. Lest they are really advanced. To be fair though, the AI has come up with some pretty ridiculous designs. Uh, coincidence rangefinder. Radar is just going to be required to spot the target. Radio is not required. Auto loading. Maybe an increased complement of shells, just considering the amount of destroyers that are out there. Although this is 2,400 shells between these four turrets. And yeah, this should be fine. How about an additional funnel? This is the compact angle funnel one. Like this? 
96. Ship slightly too heavy. Let's not go for the perfect 100. Let's keep it a little lower. TNT, two powder, light shells. We're hunting destroyers. We're not hunting anything bigger. And we're going to go for a better propeller shaft. 546? Yeah, that's at maximum speed. This is the deal, though. I'm traveling at 38 knots to get to the target, but I don't need to stay at that speed once I've reached the destroyer. I can slow down to 30, I don't know, uh, 35, 33, depending on what they're using. Unbalanced rudder, better propeller shaft, and there you go, 320. And I got that really high end sonar array. 330, I'm willing to accept that. Semi armor piercing shells with the light shell size means that I can pen pretty much all the destroyers from a fairly healthy range. Um, I would like slightly better turning on the turrets. We don't have a torpedo blister anyway. 37.5? Gives me just a little bit extra to work with. As for the HE shells... HE fire chance is just low. I could just give them max AP. Like, mainly fire AP and have HE more as an afterthought. Nose fuse. Is, you know, everything else is going to reduce the fire chance. This is kind of offsetting the fire chance. You know what, whatever. We're going to keep it as is. Maybe it works, maybe it does not. If it does not, I can still overhaul the whole ship. As for the armor... I would like a bit more on the superstructure because I know that superstructure is fragile and destroyers can piss that off. Reduce, 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 reduce what? Main deck. Just make the ship so fast that they can't catch us. Aft belt, two tons, one, two. There. There we go. That's our light cruiser. This is our destroyer killer. Perfect. Now we need a name. All right, how about the Alfa Romeo Giulia 6700? How about that? I'm including this one in the name, so I know how much tonnage this thing has. 6700. The 12,000 is, of course, the heavy cruiser. The Ferrari F1 is a bit heavier at 37,000. Three times the weight of one of these cruisers. And two and a half times the price. Okay, so we got our heavy cruiser, we got our battle cruiser, we got our light cruiser. Now I think I'm going to need a destroyer. A destroyer that's going to hit way above its weight class. Just dump torpedoes and get out. You generally need something like that. Just because it's an easy boat to have. And they can be extremely cost effective. That's their biggest attraction for me. 38 knots is going to make this thing really heavy. 37 knots. Look at that. You just jump 10 million Ridiculous. Um, yeah. This thing torps, shoots a bit, and leaves. It's really all that I needed to do. Torp, shoot a bit, get out. It's pretty simple. Oh, we need a funnel in that spot. There. Turbines. Forced. After weight of sets a bit high, but we can still add guns. Uh, how about a barbette here? Five inch. No. Four inch actually should be sufficient. Since the biggest game that I'll be hunting is a destroyer. Push this here. Put this here. Ooh, pitch is not gonna like it. Hmm. Need to put things closer to the center line of the ship. Is gonna get uncomfortable. Whatever. Also, I don't have a good firing arc here. If I put them on both sides, we're gonna have a terrible roll. Which is gonna impact me a lot if I want to use these at some point to deal with enemy gunboats. Okay. How about single four inchers? Just very, very light pew pews. Yes, that's a word now, pew pews. Because these things are mostly designed to drop torpedoes and 
get out. Really not much more special than that. Just drop torpedoes and get out. And if they come up against a destroyer, we're going to shoot that. Put this here. Here, 2.1. 1, 7. There. Okay, I can balance that thing out later. I'm not concerned. All the anti-flood. Uh, police group 4. Double bottom. It's not going to be a cheap boat, as you might imagine. These light cruisers cost 56 million. So anything below 20 is effectively a, a bargain. Oil. Does that mean I can reduce this to balanced? Mm, yeah, no, it doesn't really. Well, it means I have less smoke interference, does it not? I have no smoke interference. I have less smoke interference, actually. Okay, cool. How much smoke interference do we currently have? And it's just here. Oh, it's 3.9? It's what? Half a percent? 1.2%. I can live with that. Better shaft, better orcs. Uh, Gen 2 radar. Sonar 3 acoustics. Coincidence range finding. Torpedoes. I'm thinking 21s. Just 21 inches. They're not terribly large, but they do hit like hell. Uh, I'm coming up on displacement here. Reduce this, improve this. Eh. Semi-armor piercing shells. Just heavier ones. So that I can cripple transports faster. And as for the rest, we're going to need to put a propulsion, which is probably just going to be oxygens. It's slightly too heavy. Crap. TNT should make that lower. Two powder makes that lower. Um, oil shaft. This is good. This is good. This is good. I'm probably overlooking something. I always overlook something when I'm designing these ships. Yeah, like a belt. An armor belt. Now, there are arguments to be made that having an armor belt really only makes your ship worse. Because you just give the fuses just enough to arm on. But I'm not really a subscriber to that particular theory. There we go. Half an inch. Main belt. Hmm. It's going to be plus 100% anyway. Yeah, I can't really balance this out too much. Ideally, I would have something just somewhat further to the stern. There we go. Point two. So just a couple of four inches to deal with enemy destroyers. And that's about it. I think that's all I'll need. Do I really need this? Holy shit. 500 meters? Do I really need this kind of sonar? Well, the answer is now absolutely yes. Ah. 417. 334. Good. Mm, no. No. Reduce the sonar one notch. Wow. 10 tons. It's not making it better. Jenny 1 Raider. Because the pickets on these things are terrible anyway. This is mostly for acquiring the target a little faster. That's just making the ship cheaper. It's really not doing much. Um, that would fix it. But my engine efficiency just took a dive. Yeah, seven tons. Fine, we'll take off some armor. What about induced? Induced fixes it. Smoke interference, 1.2. None. Perfect. Pitch, still not great. The rest of the ship, fine. Okay, we need a name. Okay, how about Lamborghini? Lamborghini uh, Aventador. Aventador. There. 2,000 tons of destroyer. It's going to cost you 18 million, these things. But with these 21 inches, they can still hit weight above their weight class. And I'm planning on having these things ideally hit convoys, but you can never really be too sure. Gear turbines, auxiliary engine 2, shaft 2, unbalanced road, electro-hydraulic steering. Uh, decent reloading capability, allowing these guns to reload every 7 seconds. Oh, this is fine. This is my ship. Alright, I feel that we have everything that we need. What do you mean I need a battleship? This is my battleship. I, mean, I got the 18-inch guns. I'll be fine. 
Now, I already have a few of those. That means that my naval budget is down to 549 million. I think, considering the vast number of Austro-Hungarian ships, we're going to need a lot of those light cruisers of ours to hunt down their destroyers. And we're going to need a decent amount of destroyers to just spread out and make sure that we have some presence everywhere and that we don't lose too many ships. The shipping fleet's probably going to be fairly terrible. Uh, give me five of the... No, four of these. Gives me 302 million. And I can still build more, of course, during the campaign. But I would ideally build the easiest ship to build, which is the Lamborghini class. Oh, I forgot the 2000 that's supposed to be in there. Uh, yes. Copy. Just going to make sure it remembers everything. Yes. Um, so this is the Lamborghini Aventador 2000. Just try that design. Save this design. Done. Okay. Let's get, huh? There. We got not much left, sadly. 302 million. I want to get a bunch of those light cruisers out there. Oh boy. <laughs> not that many then. Okay, well, the rest is going to go into destroyers. Like I said, it's not going to be a big fleet. It's just going to be a really quick fleet. Nope. Four destroyers. Wonderful. Okay, where would I like my fleets? Where would I like my ships? I think the biggest clash is going to be here in the Adriatic. That's why my range on all of the ships is minimum. Um, I would like some destroyers to operate here out of La Spezia, Livorno, Palermo. Stuff like that. So, let's put the Generale Antonio Cantore in La Spezia. Generale Carlo Montanari is gonna go to Livorno and I can already task these ships. No, not yet. I can task them once the campaign actually starts. I want the Ferrari F1 to be operating out of, uh, what? Yeah, Eastern Sicily. Messina is fine. So that's here. I want one in Ancona. Ancona. I also want a heavy cruiser and several light cruisers and... Uh, no, not you. Yeah, actually you. You're not tasked. I want you guys all in... God, I keep forgetting the name. Ancona. Yes. You're in Ancona. The Fiat's going to go there, the Alfa Romeo's going to go there, and the Lamborghini. Everybody go to Ancona. There. And then the rest of them, the Urania and Maria Teresa, these are mostly jack-of-all-trades. I think having them operate together could be interesting. Um, Central Italy for now. These guys, all Central Italy, just go. I actually go to Taranto. You guys, you know what? Sort it out. Let's begin. Enough chatter. Okay. So they got one battleship. Really? The port of Cataro does not have a lot of displacement. Like, it, its port capacity is 215k, but they're already putting 226,000 tons in there. It goes for every port. These guys just got way, way, way too many ships. This is what happens, apparently, if you give them too much money. Surprise, surprise. I wonder how the Brits do it. Well, the Brits are still inside of their limits, but not by much. Look at that. I think the game for the Brits works. Because they have so many different ports that they can still stuff ships everywhere else. But for the Austro-Hungarians, they went, nah, this is not going to fit. Uh, bunk beds, battleships, well, some of them. Uh, most little destroyers are going to have bunk beds, I think. Just bunk ports on top of each other. Okay, I got two million left. 
It's not a lot, but I'm getting 116 million. Uh, I don't care about tech. I do care about crew training, and I really care about naval capacity. Naval bon uh, balance is 142 million a month. Is there anything I could grab quickly? Mark 15 inch guns. That's not impressive. Explosives would give me modern triple base. Hmm. Hmm. More shell velocity, a little bit more shell pen, but it would require me to pull my ships off of their positions again. I don't want to do that. No. We're going to have. Excuse me. I know I don't have the money right now, but this is like a payment plan, right? Ugh, fine. We're just going to have to let it tick for a month, I guess. All right, last thing I'll do this particular video, this episode, is get some of these ships out to sea. We're going to have light cruisers operating solo everywhere. This is not necessarily ideal, but I think it is what they can do. You guys are going to operate as a task force. We got the guys in Livorno. Uh, move the destroyer over there. La Spezia. Move this destroyer over here. Then we had the guys over here in Messina. I want the Ferrari. Uh, tasked with patrolling the Mediterranean for now. You're mostly on protective duty, believe it or not. And then we have the Maria Teresa. Go here. It's not easy to select the port once you have a ship there. Yeah. Okay, well, next episode, we're going to see these guys move. We're going to see these guys hopefully fight, because I do expect them to start going on the offensive. I expect the Austro-Hungarian fleet to start coming out of their ports. And I fully expect to be building a lot more ships, because currently we have 14. And that's not very many. Hope you guys enjoyed the building. Uh, you probably have all sorts of thoughts about that. Let me know down below in the comments. And as for the rest, I'll see you soon for the next episode.